We had big defection news out of Britain once again. This time, we saw three prominent politicians from the governing Conservative Party announce that they were quitting to join the new independent group. This group was formed when eight Labour MPs defected. This new group, which is called the Independent Group, has 11 members, and you could argue that, that that's not very many people. There are over 650 MPs in the British Parliament. But this group is now the same size as the Liberal Democrats, and it's bigger than the DUP, the Northern Irish Party. And with an issue as divisive as Brexit, every vote counts. The women complained about the government's disastrous handling of Brexit. They also said that the government was firmly in the grip of the hard Brexiteers in their party and the Northern Irish party that helps to prop up the government. The hardline anti-EU awkward squad that have destroyed every leader for the last 40 years are now running the Conservative Party from top to toe. The defections notably are from both main political parties, so it tells us that this is a cross-party issue and that Brexit is as divisive as ever. Our parties have been unable to grasp the magnitude of the challenge and have no plan to respond nor heal the divisions across our cities, our villages and our dining tables. So we need to start again with a clean sheet. These MPs are Remainers, they're pro-Europeans, and we can expect them to vote in that direction. But what it means practically is difficult to say at this point. These defections underscore just how fluid things are in British politics, even though we're scheduled to leave the EU at the end of March.